This is a presentation of Fox Sports, IMG, and Gator Vision. Come on, we got a shot clock. We got a shot clock. Here we go. Pass and catch, man. Pass and catch. Hit, hit, hit. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Let's go, man. Push. Call the switch. Call the switch. Key, let's go, Keontae. Here we go. Get it stop, baby. Hello again, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Mick Hubert, welcoming you to our Florida Gators basketball preview show presented by Wells Fargo. With three straight 20-win seasons, head coach Mike White enters his fourth year with his deepest Gator team yet. Seniors Jalen Hudson, Kavarius Hayes, and Kayvon Allen headline a team with a balanced roster, including a trio of highly acclaimed freshmen. And after back-to-back -back appearances in the NCAA tournament, the Gators are hoping to make a deep run into March Madness this year. Mike White knows the Gators must be more physical, embrace a defensive mentality all season, and find ways to score beyond just three-point shots. The start of the season, the, uh, the torrid pace we got off to uh, offensively it was very much a unique season, of course, and it was, it was almost the tale of two teams. The way we finished the regular season, the, the last three games at, at which I thought we played our best basketball was special again um, in that uh, we sent out our seniors the right way. Igor Kulichov, some of the moments he had individually, and Chris Chioza, of course, but the progression throughout the year I think was rewarding as well. Now Hudson driving. Hudson going all the way in. Bam! Dunk! There was a lot of things that I took away from last year, and the, one of the biggest things that I took away was kind of to approach every game like it's your last game. I feel like we, we gave a lot of wins away, um, whether it be one possession, two possession. And um, this year, I want to take an approach where this could be the last game, even though it could be the first game or the second game. I just want to take that approach. We, we've got to be better defensively earlier in the season, for sure. Uh, we've got to get healthy, of course. Uh, we've got to maintain health. Our physicality has to be increased from a year ago. Uh, we've got to get some offensive production on the interior, not necessarily just from our fives, but we've got to find a way to score twos better and get to the foul line more. We've got to offensive rebound it better. Um, we've got to create more turnovers defensively. Those are probably the, the biggest things I feel like we can improve upon from a year ago. You know, all, all three of our seniors in, in Cavarius, uh, Jalen and, and Kayvon, have things that they, they're continuing to work on. Um, but from an overall effort standpoint, trying to lead, trying to do what we ask, yeah, absolutely. Uh, those, those three guys hopefully will have big senior years. I need to improve on being more of a leader, an all-around great player, offensively and defensively, um, and just kind of being the guy where if anything needs to get done, I can be the guy to do it. You know, just buy in to stay in the stance and, you know, guys finishing cuts to make the unselfish plays with or without the ball. Been pretty fortunate the last couple of years of, of being a little bit older, and this this will be uh, the most reliant upon young guys that um, that we've been here at, at Florida, uh, probably that uh, that I've had to be since I've been a head coach. Got a bunch of young guys, even the guys that are coming back. Some of them uh, redshirted, or some of them played minor minutes. So just trying to be that guy that that kind of tells them, hey, look, this, you're doing this well. Continue to do this. This is going to translate easy. Hey, don't do this. This might not work. Like th things like that. Things of that nature. I'm taking more of the Dorian Finney Smith approach. I'm just going to do the little things and practices. So when they're watching me on the sidelines, they could take mental notes and say, okay, I should do this, so I could mimic what he's doing and get more minutes. But I, I do think there's a lot of parity and a lot of depth. Uh, again, if we can get healthy and stay healthy, uh, there's definitely been a lot more healthy competition and practice than we were able to have the last couple of years. We have like a lot more guys, so that way, you know, people can go like a lot harder in the games. You don't have to worry about pacing yourself as much because we have like a lot of talent on the team and people with their own unique skills they can bring to the floor. So everybody gets in, put in good minutes, and then they'll get their get their break. They have poise as if they're not freshmen, and it, it just seems like they're ready to go. I've been very impressed with how they've been playing and, and how they've been performing thus far. And Coach White has thrown different schemes at them, different defenses at them, and they, and they responded really well. So I've just been excited to see how they would transform. Andrew's still got to earn it. We'll have other guys that will play the point, Michael Caru and, and Jalen Hudson and Kayvon Allen. But, but Andrew will he'll play minutes, as we all know. Um, how many will be up to him and, and his competition. But he's really good. He's really good. He's, he's advanced from a, um, 
maturity, basketball IQ, accountability, toughness standpoint, um, all of those areas, he's mature beyond his years. The most consistent message is stay in the stance, guard the ball, and defend. M many nights we might not make shots, but we can always defend well. We work on that every day. We do show every single day. We do defensive slides every single day just to make sure that we're, we're super polished on that end of the floor because that gives you a chance to win every single night regardless of the outcome. Offensively, we're doing a couple different things to try to help develop our front court guys to be able to get some, again, some interior production. Um, we'll see how much of that stuff we'll actually be doing in December, January, February. I'm really excited that uh, Al Pinkins has decided to join us from Texas Tech, a guy that I've known for a long time. Undercut it, yeah, undercut it. I got the undercut guy, you get the pop back guy. So he's gonna undercut your screen right here. Here we go. Good, set it. Undercut, good, finish. Finish at the rim. Everything game speed, here we go. He's worked for a bunch of different type guys, a bunch of really good coaches. He's a worker, he's a great mentor, like my other two guys are to our young people. Good instructor, good teacher of the game. Be good with scouting, be good with recruiting. Just he's very well-rounded and he's, he's the old man on staff. We, we brought some experience in. Tonight we are live from the Exact Tech Arena at the Stephen C. O'Connell Center. Playing in the Exact Tech Arena is amazing. The fans are super loud, the rowdy reptiles make it fun to play. It's a feeling I never felt before, especially when it feels like all those people are behind you. Uh, you get on a big run, man, it just feels like you, you can't even hear yourself think, and uh, you just want to continue to play. Uh, it gets so loud in there, I feel like I don't even get tired. You know what I mean? They give you so much energy. Shout out to Gator Nation on that one. It, it's amazing. I'm just proud to say that um, we get an opportunity to, to coach in there and for our guys to, to be able to play in there. Uh, and the opportunity for these young men to come here and play basketball at the University of Florida alongside other high-profile, excellent athletes uh, in terms of what they do. This is the hardest schedule that I've ever played um, on the collegiate level at all. Um, so I'm super excited. Um, this is kind of what I came to college for, play big games like this. So I'm excited to kind of get, kind of get things going. Probably more excitement than my first year where it was probably 90% butterflies then. <laughs> I feel like just having been around the block a couple times, um, we know what we're getting ourselves into. We, we know this team more so than when we first got here, of course. Um, excited for what this team can become. Really good group of guys and uh, a long season, but excited to get started. We'll go inside a Gator practice session right after this. We got a flat ball screen, we come in here. All right, they try to beat us underneath, we going full speed. Good, low on the pull back, man, and explode out of it. Here we go. You play, you got one dribble, wall up, you're trying to score. We're competing, go. Go, throw it in, throw it in. Gator Basketball Preview Show, presented by Wells Fargo, is brought to you by Domino's. Order online at dominoes.com or with our apps. And by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. Practice sessions are filled with some individual teaching plus team concepts. Assistant coaches Jordan Mincy and Darris Nichols have been joined this year by Al Pinkins, a veteran assistant who will coach the Gator front court players. Here we go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go get it, go get it, go get it, go get it, go get it. Go, 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 go. Same thing, scoot the line over. We got a flat ball screen, we come in here. All right, they try to beat us underneath, we going full speed. Hard dribble, stopping on the dime, pulling up behind. All right, here we go. Here we go, going under, boom. Good, stop on the dime. Good, like you turn the corner. Here we go, turn the corner, good. Try to turn the corner, dog, try to get a bucket. Good, good, K, okay. good. Work at everything low and compact. Everything low and compact, man. Good, low on the pull back, man, and explode out of it. Here we go. You play, you got one dribble, wall up, you're trying to score. We're competing, go. Go, throw it in, throw it in. Face up, when we say hand over the ball. Face up, face up, hand over the ball. You had your hand right here, this is not doing anything now. Hand over the ball. Wherever the ball is, on face up, have a hand over so you can bother the ball. Stay with it, stay with it. Hold your follow through. Put your toe a little bit closer to the line. Hey, what? You always shoot, you always shoot with your toe back that far? 
from the line. See how close, see how close you got? Everything with the free throws gotta be the same way every time. Details, man, details. Mike, we gotta work on that. Your left hand the dead hand, man. You in that graveyard. Some of y'all got them grave hard your hands, man. Here we go. Help you out. So, like you going to the left leg, all right? So you going here, and you know you about to pull back, you step with your left foot. Step back, boom, all right? Because your right gonna already be in. Your inside leg gonna already be there. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, give me one game shot. One game shot, please, man. Thank you. Thank you, bro. You see what I'm saying? You give me one game shot, then you make it. Oh, double or nothing? Oh, shoot. What? Hey, stop. You better compete. Double or nothing. You better compete. Come on, we got a side clock. We got a side clock. Here we go. Pass and catch, man. Pass and catch. Hit, hit, hit. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Let's go, man. Push. Call the switch. Call the switch. Key, let's go, Keontae. Here we go. Get it stopped, baby. Keontae. Keontae. Gotta really talk on this right here, man. Gotta talk. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. That boy playing hopscotch. Gotta get lower, though. Gotta get lower. You gotta get your base lower. Turn over, turn over, turn over, turn over. Yo, yo, hey. The reason why y'all, look, the reason why y'all can't score with only one dribble, because this is what y'all do. Y'all catch in your face, and y'all never once raise them out of a stance. All you doing is like this. So, what do you think he thinks you're doing? Driving. Raise them out of a stance. Shot fake and go bound. You too, Drake. Hey, every 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 time you look like me, it's harder for you to get where you're trying to go. Your base has got to be low on everything like this. Everything that we do, your base has got to look like this. And it'll make you faster, trust me. We'll take a closer look at the women's basketball team in just a moment. Really excited about the group we have. A lot of fresh faces, a lot of young faces. Uh, but so far with our practice, the energy and enthusiasm has been very infectious. In an effort to build on the foundation of his program, second-year head coach Cam Neubauer knew he needed some culture warriors. This year's roster has been almost totally overhauled with seven transfers. Cam Neubauer wants to play fast and win faster. Really excited about the group we have. A lot of fresh faces, a lot of young faces. Uh, but so far with our practice, the energy and enthusiasm has been very infectious. And they're anxious for us to, to get our first scrimmage and to keep practicing. So it's an uh, exciting time, I'd have to say. I mean, I'm really excited. I'm just I'm looking forward to playing with new people and just getting to know their game a little bit more and just ready to make something happen here at Florida. What I love most about the SEC is the reason that I came to Florida, the reason that a lot of our players come to Florida. It's the best women's basketball conference bar none in the country. You've got the best players, you've got the best coaches, the best fan base. When you're at home or on the road, you just get incredible energy from uh, whether it be our crowd or the opponent's crowds. And it's just such a great experience and just blessed uh, greatly to be part of such an amazing conference. It prepares you so much because of the fact that the SEC is so high up tempo and um, the league has so many athletic individuals, therefore, you know, it's a must to be at your best condition, whether it be in the middle of a certain situation where you slow it down or you, you know, go out on a fast break, you need conditioning at all times. It's a tough league. Everybody's trying to get to the next level. Everybody's trying to come out and fight hard for their teammates and for their coach staff and even for that school that they're at. So I just feel like everybody is trying to get to that goal that they're they've been trying to reach for. And so, um, you know, we have to stick with the process. It's so easy to say, but it's so hard to really truly stick with the process and focus on energy and growth every day and not worry about outcomes. That's really difficult to do, especially for me, because I, I'm just anxious to want to do more, more, more. But when you have such a young group, you, you've got to focus on just each task one moment at a time, and you can't look towards tomorrow. The number one thing I really enjoy about Coach Cam's offense is the fact that we have a lot of freedom. I mean, being a point guard and having freedom from your coach is probably the best thing ever. Um, although he may be, you know, saying something from the sideline, he gives you full respect and uh, authority to run whatever you want on the court if you see something especially. We're starting to buy in more, to be more focused, and trust in the process. It's more than just about yourself. We got to stick together as a team and play all as one. For us mainly, it's just 
sticking together and not like worry about just each uh, ourselves individually. Coach Cam is playful, he's fun, he's high spirited off the court and he definitely does bring that into games and training as well. However, when we do get to practice, it's completely different mentality, you know, it's intense. He wants 100%, 110%, you know. He's very detail oriented and he will make sure that, you know, that is known, but I think that's what makes us really strive as the players that we are, and he gets the most out of us, for sure. What gets me excited about this team this year is that every day at practice, it's been something different in terms of their energy, their response, their ability to come together, challenge each other, play together, and um, just the youthfulness and enthusiasm that they have for each other, for the Gator brand, and, and for this, this campus. It gives me energy every day at practice, just knowing how eager they are to try to be better each moment. We don't really have expectations or goals. We're just trying to be the best team we can, best individuals, best team, each moment we can, each day. And I think they've really embraced that, and that's what's making it so much fun right now. I feel like if I go hard, my teammates are gonna go hard behind me. So that plays a big role. The culture surrounding the program, it's intense. We wanna get the most out of what we do. He's come in here and ingrained a culture which everyone is positive. We work our hearts out. You know, we bring energy, excitement, loyalty to the team. I think everyone's very invested in this program and he looks for players that want to be a part of that when he's recruiting. I think the fact that it's year two there's more of that. Um, everyone just wants to buy into the system and I think that's the great part about it. We've had a lot of leadership, I'd say, by committee. And I can say that because we have different types of, of leadership moments. We have some by example. We have some people that are getting more vocal. We have some that are teachers. So it's been neat to see the different types of leadership that's coming together with this group from a number of different people. We're asking different things from different people. Losing the three seniors from last year that were such strong captains and leaders for us, it's been fun to see our players kind of morph into the roles that I think they're going to play. We have people that that comes off the bench and going to be able to play and be able to change the game and be able to come in and score for us. So being able to have players that come off the bench is like really good for us because when we need breaks, like we, we know that we can count on our teammates to come in and make something happen in the game. The depth is a great thing. Just on the mere fact that we can run many different plays. We already had many plays last year, but we can run many more now because we've got so much talent and different uh, skill sets within our players and especially the new players. We have actually a lot more speed, athletic ability, so I'm excited to be around that. And I think, you know, we're just gonna develop our skills and what other aspects we have added to our roster this year and we're gonna see where it takes us. I think they're gonna see a group that plays hard together, that plays hard for them plays with tons of enthusiasm and energy. A group that wants to continuously get better, not just over the season, but day to day. And I think even within the games, that's a big focus of ours, just continued growth and trying to be better each possession. And uh, just seeing the fight that they play with for each other and for Gator Nation, I think will really energize the fans and crowds and make the Odome a special place to be this year. We'll look at the upcoming schedule when our show continues in just a moment. Time now for Chomp on This, presented by Tico People's Gas. Find this recipe and more information on natural gas efficiency and available rebates at peoplesgas.com slash cooking. Gator Basketball Preview Show, presented by Wells Fargo, is brought to you by Domino's. Order online at dominoes.com or with our apps. And by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. 
How about opening the season at Florida State, then playing Oklahoma, West Virginia, Michigan State, and Butler before ever getting to the SEC, which figures to be the toughest in years? It is absolutely brutal. And, and when we get into conference play, it becomes even tougher. It gives us the opportunity day in and, and day out uh, to see where we are, to be exposed, if you will, uh, by teams, because we will win or lose against these high-level teams. We'll find out a lot about ourselves. And if we can win our share again, I'm sure the computers will like us again, which gives us a chance in March. The recruiting throughout the league, the roster of head coaches uh, in this league is um, remarkable, in my opinion. Um, and I, I, I think it's at an all-time high. I think that we're arguably the best basketball conference in college basketball. The Gator women will also play at FSU, then Northwestern, Indiana, Ohio State, and Utah. And as always, the SEC is the toughest women's basketball conference. Combination of uh, different styles of play we're going to play against, combination of home and away games. Last year we did not have that many non-conference um, road games, so it gives us an opportunity to have challenges on the road, but also I like road games because it provides team building opportunities as well. Um, there's just something fun sometimes. A lot of coaches dread being on the road. I like it because it forces you to kind of communicate and really come together. And so the fact that we've got a number of road games non-conference I think will be exciting as well as, you know, we get to go to Las Vegas. I think it'll be, you know, fun to take the team to a show out there, do some sightseeing a little bit, help them see the country while we compete. And that's the great thing about being at Florida is, is we're given the opportunity to get to travel throughout the country and, and play different games and help our, our student athletes really experience the country. For more information on tickets, visit floridagators.com slash tickets. There will be some great moments in the Exact Tech Arena this season, and we hope you'll be there. And we hope you'll be able to join us for all the exciting radio play-by-play -play on the Gators IMG Basketball Network. That's our Florida Gators Basketball Preview Show, presented by Wells Fargo. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mick Hubert. So long, everybody. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports. IMG and Gator Vision.